slightly different video today. I am doing um, or attempting to take part in um, Vlogtober, which means that every day I'm going to try and upload something in October. Whether or not I will stick to this, I don't know. <laughs> um, some days I might think I'm boring and I've not done anything. So um, yes, yeah, so this, this is uh, what I'm doing today. It's currently uh, probably about 10 o'clock in the evening on the 1st of October, which is a Saturday this year. Um, it's very wet and wild outside, so I do apologise if you do hear um, some noises of wind and rain, but I, I don't think it, it's uh, bad enough. I'm just looking at my window, but it's black outside, but I can see water on the actual glass. Um, it's been a very mixed day today with the weather. It's been up and down. Started off that it was dark and dismal and um, there was all sorts of stuff going on. Uh, and uh, then it went quite sunny because I went out with my big coat on and then ended up leaving it in the car. So what I've been up to today, like I say, it's Saturday. So um, <clears throat> I've been to um, a retail park in Warrington, which is about 20 minute, 25 minute drive from where I live on the motorway. Um, and I went to a couple of the shops along the um, the shopping um, park, we call them retail parks in the UK. Um, and so I'm just going to show you. I'm looking around on the floor, some of my things that I bought from the shops at the retail park because um, that's what I've been up to today. So, um, and if any of you don't know what sort of videos I normally do, I normally mainly do floss tube videos, which is obviously to do with cross stitch and I sometimes add um, knitting and crochet in with those videos and I also um, sometimes do other bits and bobs like diamond painting and painting and um, colouring in and stuff but my main focus currently is um, more sort of like fibre arts like uh, cross stitch and like I say knitting and more recently crochet. So the first shop that I went to was Hobbycraft, which if you don't live in the UK, Hobbycraft is, I'm going to presume a little bit like, say, Michael's and Joanne's in the US and maybe Canada, I don't know. Um, I don't know about other countries, but um, it's just basically, you just go there to pick up stuff for your hobbies. Like, you know, they sell like paint and paintbrushes and... Um, crickets you know the cricket cutting machines and uh, not crickets as in the, the inset um <laughs> uh, they sell some cross stitch stuff they say sell sewing stuff and some knitting stuff um there's a lot of like crafts for kids and stuff like that papier mache things and make make your stuff for your weddings kind of things <laughs> um they got a lot of um well they got a lot of christmas stuff in now actually as we're going into October. So um, I'll show you what I got in there. The first thing I'll show you actually is this, which is um, toy stuffing. And I thought, I, I've seen this on the internet and I thought I'll buy it and try it. Buy it and try it, that's all good. Um, which is toy stuffing that is made from recycling plastic bottles, which I thought was a good idea. Um, so I've got that, I think it's five pounds, four or five, four pound, fifty, five pound, I can't remember. Um, and that's for, what was it, 250 grams, I think. So yeah, so I'm going to try this stuffing out because I'm going through stuffing at the moment like mad. I don't mind using this for my own stuff. Um... That I'm going to keep myself if I'm doing stuff for other people I'll use the other stuff but it does say that it's tested to meet regulations 
and then it's got these different decorations which I'm going to presume is like that it's fire safe and things like that um but yeah so good it feels nice and soft it is quite interesting I would like to see a video on how they actually make plastic bottles into a fiber um yeah so I got that and then I've got my craft bag. Um, so what's in there? So I actually got some stuff from another shop there. Let's get rid of it. First of all, I've got these. And my friend wanted some of these as well. Um, she wanted these for a wreath that she's making. Um, so I got some of these um, because... Um, well, I was, I was kind of hoping to make a wreath myself, but then looking at everything they had, they didn't have um, what I wanted. So, well, they did. They, no, they didn't have everything I wanted and things they did have. I thought, to be honest, I could buy one um, cheaper, basically, than making one. Um, so, yeah, so there's 17 mushrooms in there. And then I got some of this um foam backing card which i'm hoping to use as backing on some of my uh makes um my cross stitch makes to to keep them um straight basically i haven't used this stuff in a long long time so i don't know whether it's gonna be fit for purpose but i'm gonna try try it and see if it doesn't come in for that, I'm quite sure it will come in for something else that I do at some point. Um, and I got some... Let's get that box out a minute. <laughs> got some ribbon. Just, uh, sorry, stopped myself out. Got some ribbon. I got some rip back. I got some white rip back um, because I thought having a lot of trouble sometimes finding the colours that I want. I was just looking. There was something that I was going to show you there, but it's not there. I got white because I thought oh, with white I should be able to use my um, permanent markers and colour them in to the colours that I want instead of having to buy all loads of different colours of rip back. May not work. We'll have to see. I also got this, which is like a um, string. To pull it out without. See, it's a string. I want this to go around one of the cross stitches that I'm doing for Christmas. Definitely might go around more than one. But one of the cross stitches that I know I've got those colours in it that I've started. And I think I want to, I, my idea hopefully will be that it will go around the edge when I finish it. Might not work. I also bought this ribbon, which is hopefully going to be for, in fact, some of the ribbon I bought, um, I bought some ribbon the other day, but I don't know where it is actually. Oh, I bought some ribbon the other day and I'll show you that. I uh, Actually, I forgot to say, I'm actually in my craft room, which I normally am not, um, but I'm actually in my craft room today and up here, we have my collection of, or small part of my collection of bears. I collect all the ones along the top are Charlie bears. Those two are Charlie bears. Then we have Wembley from Fraggle Rock. We have Alf. Alf. We have Red from Fraggle Rock. We've got Snoopy. And then right back there, if you're in Britain... You'll know that this is the, one of the baby meerkats from the advert, compared meerkat. If you're not from Britain, you're probably wondering what the heck is that woman going on about that's dressed as BB-8. Then I have a rabbit and a bear from a teddy bear workshop. Build-A-Bear, I think it's called. I think it's called Build-A-Bear. Snoopy's from Build-A-Bear as well. Uh, and they are Harry Potter bears. I'll do when I do my, eventually do do a craft room tour because it's still a mess. You are not seeing the chaos that is on the floor around me and the chaos that is just next to me here. 
honestly. It's not actually over here, it's not too bad. Um, but I wouldn't want you to see the see the mess, the, the little bit of mess that's over there. Um, but I'm just going to grab from over here on some shelves I've got. Um, these, oops, I've just got something. I got, um, I got these the other day. I got this rip wrap. I just got those three. Now these are just more stretchy, so I don't know what they're going to be like. I don't know if it's going to be better or worse. And then I got these three. I think they were from B and M bargains. These those were from a craft shop, a uh, black sheet walls craft worn craft shop. Um, but I got these as well. Um, ooh, that didn't make, make a good noise. Um. That obviously is probably going to be for something Christmassy. And those can be for Christmas, but they can also be for other things as well. So, yes, I've got those. So, that's hopefully going to be for a pumpkin one that I've got, which is... I thought it was back here. Yes, it is. <clears throat> this pumpkin. Meet me at... I've got it in this frame thing. Meet me at the uh, pumpkin patch. Which I'm hoping to sort of, I don't know, I've cut something out, but I think it might be a bit big. And sort of put it in here and then have some bows. I don't know. I've not decided, but when I do it, I will hopefully take you through what I do. So, pop that back over there. Okay, and then the other thing that I got from Hobbycraft, just let me check that's it, is these wire pumpkins. And just open up the box. So they're all individually wrapped. So there's three. So we've got there's the mini, the mini one. I think they have these in different. I think they've got this in. This is like the sort of coppery colour. I think it's called. And they have definitely black. Um, I'm not sure if they've got silver as well. So there's that one. And we've got. I think this is the medium size medium size one and then we've got the large one so um they're so cute they are really cute <laughs> i really like these they weren't doing really at all um i was expecting them to be a lot more than you can buy. I think they were about eight pounds for three, I think, which is really good. So, let's leave them there. And I also got this, which is also going to be for finishing off stuff. I might use it on, on that pumpkin patch one, I'm not sure yet. So, I'm just going to pop some of these back away so that they're kind of out of my way in case I need my desk for anything else. I also got this, just the one DMC thread, which is for, um, let's see if I've got it down here. Yeah. <laughs> I ordered um, the flosses for this Barbara Anna Designs, and there was one floss that they didn't have at the Patchwork Rabbit. So that's that one now. So I've got all the ones I need now. I have started stitching on it. Um, but I haven't got cut it far. So pop that back in there. Then where did I go to next? Let me have a look. No. Was next home bargain. Oh, no. Actually, next was Dunnell Mill. Now Dunnell. Oh, Dunelm Mill, Dun Dunelm Mill, can't say it, uh, is sort of like soft furnishings, home furnishings. You get like curtains and bedspreads and um, cushions for your settee and things for the kitchen, them sort of things in there. But they also do do some craft stuff. And I popped in up to the craft place and I found these buttons, which are uh, flowers. <laughs> which kind of look a bit wooden, but I think, no, no, they are plastic, I think. I thought they're great um, for um, things like gonks 
and things when you when you knit them or crochet them um, and also for finishing off for crochet so I got those they did have different colors this one's called bright and I thought because I got this one because I think the blue color will go with the gunk that I'm finishing off I've not decided what I call, I'm just looking at him because he's on my window so I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with him if I'm going to embroider some stuff on his hat or if I'm going to put buttons on but they will get used I've got so many buttons my buttons are just over there near where my ribbons go so I'll pop that in there so then I went into um home bargains home bargains again if you don't live in the UK I don't know what the sort of US equivalent would be um I'm thinking could it be like a target or something I don't know it's kind of like a shop they, they sell all sorts they sell a lot of um household stuff and they sell a lot of um when I say household stuff I mean normally like cleaning products and 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 things like that but they also do housework homework whatever you want to call it housework homework um so I got some things I'm just getting comfy in my seat I got some things in there so one of the things I got I've not took the tag off yet actually is this to go on my front door and it says Welp Gnome I thought it's perfect for me because if you know me I love gnomes and gonks um so yeah so I've got got him or her I think it's he no it it must be him with the with the beard um well you never know so this is gonna go on my door um for Halloween so I'm gonna pop that back over here I also actually when I was in <clears throat> a shop called B and M Bargains that we have in the UK I picked this up as well <laughs> the other day. I couldn't resist I just love gunks so I'm going to be going in my lounge once I've done it I'll, I'll put photographs up and everything um so yeah so I also got oops dropping something on the floor this witch's hat to go on my head um which are you doing something tomorrow with the video which you might see you might not I don't know I've not decided yet it also lights up, it does flashing, slower flashing, and then just on. So yeah, so this I might be wearing tomorrow in another video. Um, oh, it's curled up a bit at the front. So there's that. Again, I've not took the, the tag off yet. But I will be wearing this probably for my, if I do a Halloween video later on in the month anyway. And if not... If I'm in work on Halloween, I'll be wearing it. I can't remember. I've not looked at the calendar whether I'm in or not. <laughs> I don't know. Because they've worked part from home, part in, in the office. So, yeah. So, there's that. I got this for one of my finishes. Which is a bamboo serving board. And I'm going to... I retreat it. Sand it down and treat it with a stain or I'm going to paint it and what I'm going to use it for is I'm trying to see um no I don't think I can put my hand straight on it but I think it's I think it's Primrose Cottage um cross stitch and they have one that is it's one of the big ones that goes that way and they've got it on a sort of cheese board thing whatever you call these serving board things this might not be big enough I don't know but I thought if it doesn't work for that it'll work for something else because it was only about two pounds I don't even think it was that to be honest um so yeah so that's her finish I also got some wool just let me yeah uh, don't, don't look at my grey hair <laughs> so I got I just got these three 99p each and so I got two that are sort of the pink and then this sort of uh, brownie beige colour. So yeah, they, they do do quite a lot of different, well, quite a lot. It's it's look at the draw sometimes with these when you go in. Sometimes they have them, sometimes they don't. So when you do see them, I tend to pick them up because they are, um, they are nice, <laughs> basically. And they do have, like I say, they do have some nice colours in them and then the other thing I got was these two just 
<laughs> making noises. Halloween again. I got this boo and this. So these are obviously, again, they're going to be part of my Halloween um, display. Um, I wished I could have got two of those, but that was the last one. Um, I love this with the boo on. They did have different things. I had one that like was like a kind of cookie jar or a sweet jar um, that had a lid that came off, which I liked. But I, I thought I can't justify buying all these. So, yeah, I can't. I can't justify it. So I'll just pop some of these back in here. I could have bought so much, honestly, because I love Halloween. And they had Christmas things and I was like, no, no, no can't have them Michelle stop stop now <laughs> and then I went in what shop was this now that was it I think that was everything I bought at that retail park and then I needed to go to a shop we have in England called the range which again it's a shop that um has a lot of arts and craft supplies it has a lot of home furnishings a lot of christmas decorations lighting that sort of stuff um but they do have a very good arts and crafts part um and i went in there for specifically because they didn't have them in hobby craft which was weird because they normally do i don't know why they didn't have them in hobby craft sorry i'm making a load of noise i needed a styrofoam wreath for a crochet crochet project that I'm doing now. I did need 25 centimeters but that was the only size they had but I am going to be probably using a smaller hook anyway so I think I think it'll work. I'm gonna make it work. So I got the one that was flat which is the what it, the pattern calls for but just in case it doesn't work because they were only 125 each. I got the one that's like rounded. But to be honest, and that's 20, 20 centimeters so. Um, I don't know, that one's, because it's flat, it kind of sticks out a bit more. So I don't know. I might get the tape measure out and sort of do the, is it the circumference? I don't know. I've probably got that word wrong. I also got <clears throat> a couple of things again for finishing off stuff. So I got the oh dear, it's got a bend in it. So I got this, um, which might go again with my pumpkin thing. I wouldn't put the whole thing on. I'd take some off. And I got some of this green and green greeny stuff. So you can just like sort of cut odd ones out and put them on finishes. If you if you ever watch Java Girl Stitches, she has beautiful finishes. I'm sort of kind of trying to follow what she's done on stuff, but it might not go right. Uh, then I got, again for finishes, for autumn sort of stuff. I'll have to get stitching some more autumn stuff. These, I got two of these. Um, they're not actually. I don't. I don't know if they are actually round or not. But again, it's sort of like the aim is. Yeah, the, it. I don't know, but the aim is to use it for a finish somehow. <laughs> and I've just got these sticky hooks that I'm hoping to hang some stuff up on my wall with. But who knows? Uh, then I got this some ribbon again spooky ribbon uh, it says um trick or treat spooky boo halloween oh happy halloween not sure so it's got that there and then i got these and i also got some just some green make back because i saw it so i grabbed it i think that was it in there yeah so just pop those It won't be as exciting this on day two or on three or whatever because I won't have been shopping. <laughs> and then the only other thing I got was I quickly nipped to um, another retail park. 
um, in Wigan called Robin Retail Park. Um, I just picked up a couple of bits. I picked up these pumpkin honeycomb decorations. So I picked them up. So like a pound or something. Um, I need some slippers. So I picked up these sort of cat slippers. Yeah. And then I picked up is it Kerry? Let me check. Oh, my stomach's making funny noises. <laughs> you don't need to see my doggy poo bags. Um, I picked up this mug that says, hello, pumpkin. And then it's got some pumpkin on the back, which is like £2, £2.50, I think. Um, and I like nice big mugs and I haven't got a Halloween one. And then I just got these two little guys. I might take them into work. I don't know. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. That is my shopping haul. Um, and that is my, basically what I've been up to today. Then I just came home, made some tea. We had chicken, chicken pasta. Um, and then I, uh, we took the dog out for a quick walk. And then we came in and just watched a couple of things on the... Uh, Netflix and that and that was it basically so now I'm gonna tidy up the stuff that I've just because some of this is now thrown over the uh, floor and I'm gonna put my pajamas on and I'm gonna settle down uh, in bed for the night um watch a couple of things maybe do a little bit of cross stitching or crocheting or knitting decide which one I'm gonna do and then um hopefully have a nice sleep because I've not slept well this week and I've been having some very bizarre dreams as well so that's kept me up and I will see you tomorrow for um vlogtober number two thank you for watching I hope I've not bored you too much and 